Yo, what's the crack guys? My name is Mental Martin and welcome back to Heavy Rain. It's Friday, 6.24pm, 5.115 inches. So we're only about 900 away from being 6 inches. So then, once that's there, he's going to die. So, obviously that means we must be coming up to the end of the game now. I think this guy just got the last mission and it told him an address to go to. So, I don't know what the last test is going to be. But we're gonna find out. I don't even know what the hell's going on here. This guy must be dreaming or something, having a nightmare. It's weird. What the hell? Um, uh, mama. I haven't got a notion what's going on. Unless this. Oh right. The last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your sons? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. Oh my god. Seriously? Is there no other way of finding my son apart from drinking this? This is bad, man. Oh, God. What will I do? Um, I don't know what to do. Fuck it. Let's drink it. It's the only way to see his son. Oh man, this is a bad idea. I don't know if there was another way of finding his son, or if he was not ever going to find the son, if he didn't drink that. I'm not really sure, but if it was me and it was my son, I'd give my life up for him. This guy really, really wants to save him, so we'll just have to see what happens. The last letters have been sent to your phone. Oh man. I could have figured it out without even getting the fucking letters. Oh god. Right. Pick the watch up then. Keep the timer on it. I did what I had to, Sean. Oh man. Your dad's coming to save you. Oh man, I feel bad now. What happens if that fucks it up, man? Or like, if he dies before he reaches his son, man, that's bad. Oh, fuck. What would you guys have done? Like, I don't know. Um, if I don't, if he doesn't drink that, he wouldn't have found out where his son was. Oh, let's see what happens in the end. Hopefully, hopefully it all turns out all right. But obviously, Ethan's gonna die in it. So we're back with this guy, the F. Well, what is he? FBI. Yeah. Friday, 6.30 p.m. Five point two seven two inches. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles. This guy's losing his mind, trying to figure it out. All packed up and ready to go. What ready are you for what? About? The investigation's over. We know who did it. No longer need your services anymore, Norman. It wasn't. So you it's can not ride your Ethan, files you all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. Just fuck you, prick. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. Blake. You are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole! I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. This guy's freaking out again. 
Oh, wow. He's just taking the drugs on his own now. God fucking damn it. What a fucking cokehead bastard. The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. God, do I have to find it? Seriously? God damn it. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Oh, definitely. Very it is dangerous, dangerous, man. I just tuck it straight up my nose, man. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. Is he talking about the thing that I have on my face? Sir. Or is he talking about the stuff I'm sniffing up my nose? Right. Let's go to the clues, is he's. He's trying to figure this out. Um. Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Um, okay. Analyze. I can see a watch already. It's got a watch on. Blue Lagoon. I analyzed the video. Right, play it. Uh, how am I meant to know, like, when to pause it? Right, let's play it again. Play the film. Wind it all the way back. Let's stop it whenever he's got his watch sticking out. Right, analyze. Watch. Gold watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. Eight carat gold. Oh, collection for carriage promotion present. Oh yeah, the watch. Okay. What does that mean? The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. Oh god, the killer is a cop. Okay. That must be it. Stop. There's no point in having that play. Like what else? Origami figure. Analyze. I already analyzed this, didn't I? Yeah, there's no point in looking at that. Okay. Uh, that's the only new thing we got in there. Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Nah. Nah, I don't think so. Like, like, what am I supposed to do here? I'm not really sure. There must be something secret to do to make this guy be able to find out what's going on. But, like, as far as I know, I haven't got a clue. Oh. Okay. Let's analyze this one more time, see what he says. Analyze impossible. Right, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna not continue to do this. Just give up. I think this might mean that he's not gonna find who the killer I, is or anything. I can't go on. Which kind of sucks, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do. He must have got I all the clues. Go God fucking damn it, man! Shit, we're we not gonna find out who the origami killer is now. There was not enough clues there, man. I must have missed some clues when I was being that guy. God fucking damn it. Oh, we're back with this kid. Ah! Oh yeah, this is the rest of the story. Hold on, John. Uh, I'm gonna help. Just hang on. Go on, hurry. <coughs> I think the water's rising. I'm hurrying. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back as this kid, so I guess I have to run and see if my dad's gonna help. Is that it? Run! Go back to your dad and get in the help. His dad's a drunk though, that's the only problem here. I could only imagine that his dad's gonna be like, I don't give a shit or some shit like that, or he's gonna be too drunk to come out and help. Which I hope isn't the case. But man, this is a bad situation, like, for shit like this to happen. I don't even know why they're in this fucking 
Oh, they live beside this? Oh, there's the dad. Look at him. Dickhead, man. Alcoholic bastard. Dad, dad, it's your... He, he found your bike. Oh, He's get coming. out of here, you little pest. Look at this Leave dickhead, man. Come on, dad. Come on. John's gonna die. John's gonna die. Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to feed, won't What it? a fucking prick. Go away. Please, dad, I'm begging you. John's gonna die. John's gonna die, dad. What did I tell ya? Scrap. Oh man. Please, please, Dad. You've got to save John. I tried, John. That's so really sad, tried, man. But he wouldn't come. Please don't die, John. Please. Keep trying to pull him out or something. <laughs> Keep trying to pull him out. What the fuck are you doing? Don't. Oh my god. Don't forget about this guy. Scotty? Scotty? Oh no way. That's... No. That's bullshit. There's no way. I think I know who the killer is. If his name's Scotty. Holy shit. Man, his brother died right in front of him. While he's holding his hand. That's sad. Holy shit. There's no fucking way that the killer is who I think it is. No way. Is it him? What the hell is going on? What are we burning here? It must be him, he's the killer. I think he's the origami killer. Is he? He must be, he's burning all the evidence. It was his typewriter, I fucking knew it. I remember he, he's like, oh, it's an old typewriter I typed this. He's got an old typewriter. What the fuck, man? What is it? Why the hell did he want to kill people's children, though, just because he lost his brother? Like, how does that, like, make sense? He helped all these people. He helped the girl. He helped the, the, boat, the other girl. He helped the shopkeeper. What the fuck, man? I thought this was the good guy, man. I like this guy. I thought he was a good guy, just going around helping people and stuff. But it turns out... He's the fucking killer! That's unbelievable. What the hell am I doing now? Oh my god. It was him. I knew, do you know how I was thinking in my head? He's, he's got fucking those boots on, man. Look at his boots. I remember he was saying that that's the shape of that guy's boots and all that stuff. I fucking knew it. I didn't know it, but I mean, you kind of see some of the clues and stuff. And it's kind of obvious once you know who it is, but oh my god. That's unbelievable. He went and seen her as well. His mum. Oh my god. I thought he got shot. We just bashed him over the head, man. Holy shit, man. Call the police on himself. That's that. that ugh, I don't even know what to say. This guy needs to fucking die, though. He just made Ethan poison himself. Ethan's gonna die now. For what? Just because he had problems in his life? 
because his brother died and his dad didn't help him. Like, I don't understand. I can't believe that. Mad stuff's going on right now. Oh shit, yeah, I forgot about Madison. I wonder if she's going to help Ethan or what, or if she's going to find the kid. Because someone needs that. Friday, 6.36pm, 5.64 inches. He's about to fucking die, man. Oh, Scott Shelby. Why is she going to his house? Uh-oh. I hope she doesn't die. Uh-oh. Oh, she's gonna pick his lock. Right, let's go. She, oh right, she knows who the killer is. Yeah, she knows that it's Scott. She knows who uh, his name. I remember in that last episode, she was like, "I know whose name it is." Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me right now? God damn it! I hate doing shit like this. It's not even hard, but sometimes my controller just doesn't want to do... Fuck! Fuck! This is actual AIDS, man. Why did it have to make it like this? Okay, I was just supposed to do it hard. Fuck me. Man, I got a bad feeling about this. Really, really do. Like, what happens if she gets killed as well, man? The origami killer's apartment. She knows who it is, there man. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. Oh, God, right. Let's check. Straight over here, man. Um, right, check this. the hell is this? I haven't a clue. This is police chief. Whatever. That's a waste of time. Um, check. I'm just going to check everywhere. He left his inhaler there. Drink. Right. I don't know why she's walking that direction. Let's check all the cupboards, man. He used to be a cop. Probably knew exactly how an investigation would be carried out. Hi, right, okay. That was a wi okay. Uh, I love how she doesn't like walking in the direction I want her to walk in. A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Yes, he was dressed as a cop. No way, is there something behind there? Go for it, girl. This girl's a fucking wizard, man. She's like better than the police, better than the detective. She's found everything. I really hope this girl like make it makes it to the end and saves his kid. But oh no, she loves Ethan. She's not gonna be able to be with him because he took the poison. This is not good, man. Shit, it needs a password. Fuck knows, hey. Um, origami? It's, it's gonna be John, isn't it? No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, shit. Oh, we're gonna get How locked out. How does this twisted fuck's mind work? Gotta be something related to his childhood. What did he call those paper dogs when he was a kid? Oh, Max. Got it, Max. She literally just the told me John what the gave password paper was. paper dogs when he was a child. Okay, what come on. What the hell is that? An address. It's got to be where Sean Mars is. Oh, um, hurry! There's no time to lose. Maybe I should have fucking. Maybe I should have. Uh... When the parents came home from the church, all their children were gone. He's the one that sent the fuck. Oh, man. This is where he cultivated the orchids that he left wow, on the chest of his victims. Wow, that's crazy, man. 
Oh no, please, no, no, so no. So you no, found no. my little secret? It's over, Scott. Please don't kill All those kill children her. killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't He's understand. He's crazy. Please, please don't kill me. Please There's don't kill me. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Oh, please. Please, 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 please. Is that it? He's just gonna lock her in there. Oh god. Shit, man. Is there any way of getting through here? Oh, fuck, man. Just knock on all the walls. That's the best thing to do. Oh, no. Come on, there must be something in this room. Uh, this. What's this? What's this? Break this. Turn around. Smack it off the wall. Smack it off the wall. Smack it off the wall, you dumb bitch. Come on. Oh, no. No! Oh, this is not good. She might get out. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please get out, man. I need this girl to get out. She's the best in the whole fucking show. Climb out. Please. Come on. Come on. Oh, thank fuck. Shit. Are you able to get out the window? Man. I'd be able to get out that window and crack a pool. Fuck me, he's burning his fucking house down, bro. Uh oh. What am I gonna do? What am I doing? I'm getting ready to go for it. Come on. No. No. Get out of the fucking fire, you did. Right, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, please. And I really need to do this because if she dies, then the whole game is going to be fucked for me. Fuck it, let's keep going this way. I'll turn around. Turn this way. Go out the door. Oh no. Man, she'd be dead from the fire already. And there's a gas cylinder. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is intense. Intense as fuck. Come on. This is the best way I, I I don't think that climbing out the window is gonna work. Yeet! Come on. She did it. Oh, it's not open. Please, please, please. Get out that door. Get out that door, bro. One more time, one more time. No, no. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm supposed to go out this door. Uh, she's not doing what I'm telling her to do. Oh, God's sake. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I must have to go out the window. Come on. This is way too high. I'm gonna kill myself. There must be another way. Okay. 
Okay, don't jump. Okay, you need to turn around, girl. No, that's not what you need to do. Hiding under there is not going to help you. Okay, maybe if we get all this stuff out. I don't know. Climb inside here. Quick. This will protect you from the explosion. Fuck it. It's the best I could think. I'm not jumping off a fucking high thing. And then breaking all my shit and dying. If I'm in that fridge, that could have saved me. Did it? It did! Yes! Oh no, please. How the fuck did she get down the stairs? Maybe it just blew the whole fucking floor off and she just went straight down through the stairs. She knows exactly where that guy, uh, where her Ethan son is. Call Jaden. I know where Sean Mars is. Call Jaden because I, I know that, that, that Jaden is dying He's from the only one poison. I can trust. I wish I didn't He'll make Ethan. I wish I didn't make Ethan drink poison. Confirm. We need Jaden there. Jaden deserves. Madison Page. You don't know me. I'm a journalist. We don't have much time, so listen carefully. Ethan Mars is innocent. The killer's name is Scott Shelby. Sean Mars is at 852 Theodore Roosevelt Road. Have you got all that? Hold on. How did you? No, please. I'll explain later. You can call my newspaper, the American Tribune. They'll tell you who I am. Please hurry. Sean Mars may still be alive. Ah oh, man, I fucked up, boys. I made Ethan fucking kill himself, but I didn't know that she was gonna find out. Maybe it's to like decide whether like if she died or Jay didn't figure out Ethan would be the only one to find Sean. But if you came to this point and she got out there, you could have just rung Ethan and told him where he was. I kinda understand, but fuck. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? Oh there's um Sean. He doesn't look very happy. Here we go. This must be the end of it. Yeah. Friday, 7.22 p.m. 5.84 inches. So he's about to die. Hurry the fuck up. Come on, Ethan. Right. This is where his son is, so... He needs to hurry up and get in there and find his son. Quick. Man, this guy's gonna die. I can't believe it. I'm an idiot. I don't understand. I press one direction and he runs the other way. Sean! Sean! Come on, there he is. That's it. That's it. Go, 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 go. He's right here. I've been looking for a long Oh, Long Shelby. Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Are you serious? That's all it was for. Sacrifice himself in order to save his son. <laughs> oh, I searched, searched, searched. And then... I remembered you. Oh, what? He was there? All those murders. Just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I've suffered just as much as my victims. I finished your damn trials. Now give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grate. Okay. There's a giant padlock on it. 
Oh, please don't tell me you're going to kill me already. Oh, thank fuck, Jaden. Thank fuck that guy's there. Holy shit. Why was he trying to kill Ethan after he fucking passed the trials? Come on, Ethan. Open fucking great before he dies. How the fuck is he supposed to open that? Like, seriously. Fuck me. Run. Go somewhere. Look for something. Do something. I don't know what to do. Oh, there's a pipe here. I'm fucking stupid as hell. Come on. Come on. Snap it. Snap it. Snap it. Snap it. Man. How is that not doing it? Come on. Put it back in, boy. Snap it. Yes. Oh, thank fuck. It's going to save him. Come on. Come on, Ethan, you piece of shit. Open the fucking grate. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes. Come on. Oh, fuck, he's drowning. Oh, man, I feel sad. I feel sad now. He's gonna die. He's not gonna be with that girl and... His son's not going to be with his father. Hopefully this guy can kill him. No, no, no. Get up. What the fuck, man? If they fall off there, man, they're going to die. Or they're going to be fucked up with a coffee cup. Shit, I'm going to have to start pressing some buttons here. Get kicked in the nuts. I blocked his head, but man, I need to hit every button. Come on. They felt, oh yeah, they had a fight already. I remember. They had a fight at that fucking party at that uh, club, and Shelby won. Oh look, there's the police. I can't even see what's happening. Shit. God, this guy's a fucking pussy wagon. God damn it! I nearly fucked up there. Come on. Fuck off off me, bitch. Oh. Take your positions. The suspect is likely to be armed and dangerous. Oh, this girl's here. Are ordered to shoot to kill. I repeat, shoot to kill. She needs to Ash, tell him not to kill him. Position? Yes, Lieutenant. They're ready on your command. Perfect. Ethan's gonna die any time. Ethan's gonna die Buck anyway. Down as soon as he shows his face. Come on, girl. Hey! You there! What are you doing? Come on, tell him. Lieutenant, my name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami hey, killer. What is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. Now get her out of here. I don't want her getting in the way. Okay, Lieutenant. All right, come on. You're about Fuck to make off. a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. Yeah, because the origami killer's up here. Oh. Beating the shit out of this guy. Oh. Come on, get the fuck up. Get the hell up off the fucking concrete. This guy is getting his shit pushed in, man. Come on, you're an FBI agent. Beat the shit out of this guy. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Get clubbed in the fucking... Bitch. Okay, this guy's too big for me to grab. Come on. Save him. Don't help Save me, him. Please. Oh man, breathe. I hope this kid wakes up, man. Gotta breathe. That's why you need to learn CPR, everybody. When shit like this happens. Yeet. Yeet. Come on. Please wake up. Please wake up. Don't leave me. Come on, Sean. No, is he giving up? What? Is he dead? Nah. This is bullshit. No way, this is bullshit, man. What the fuck? 
What's going on? Oh, he's awake. Oh, thank fuck for that. Oh my god. Holy shit, man. I thought he was dead. I thought I fucking did something wrong. I thought you were gone. Yeah, so did I. Dad. I knew you'd come and save me. Man, I fucked this game up, bro. Sean took po- I mean, Ethan took poison, man. Sean, He's got ten seconds. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Oh, please don't you die, Ethan. Whatever happens, I love you more than anything in the world. Oh, uh, no. I- I'm not dead. I took the poison an hour ago and- What? And I'm not dead. <laughs> Seriously? It was just a fake? Oh my god, man. That's so good. I didn't fuck the game up. Thank fuck. That would have been sad. That would have been fucking bad. Get her out of my face. We need to make sure these guys don't shoot Ethan now. Get off me. Come on. We need to get this girl to fucking do something. They could just shoot him. Shoot her, couldn't they? If she's doing this crazy shit. What the fuck is she doing, man? Okay, she's oh, just falling crap. over. What do we do, Lieutenant? Attention all personnel, hold your fire, I repeat. Don't hold shoot. Fire. Oh, man. Oh, look, they get to be together, I think. Thank, going God. On? Thank God. They're out there. They have the building surrounded. They'll shoot you if you go outside. I'll go out alone. I'll talk to them. I'll explain. You'll be dead before you can open your mouth. Look, we'll all go out together with, with our hands in the air and they can't possibly shoot us. I have the evidence that proves your innocence. We already know who the origami killer is. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't trust you. I was only thinking about Sean, and I thought... That's okay. The only thing that matters is that you saved your son. Oh shit, back to this guy. Oh, they're both fucked up. Come on, come on, come on. I can't die to this guy, I can't get Jaden killed now. I just kept made him come all the way here to get killed. I don't fucking think so, this guy. <laughs> Hit him straight in his fucking teeth. Come on. I don't know. I think we need to keep this guy alive, man. I want this guy to go to fucking jail for a long time. Save me. Please. Save me. Shit, I don't know. Help him. This is gonna be a bad thing. He's gonna fucking push me off. Yeah. He's gonna throw him off. Come on, I can't get Jaden killed now. I wanted to save him, because I want to fucking capture this guy alive. So then we know who, who, like, he goes to jail for good, man. If he dies, that's not, that's not going to be good enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, fuck, man. No. No. Please, 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 please. Oh my god, Jin. Yes. Oh, that guy died anyway. Come on, get up. Thank fuck, man. This is the best ending I could have got. I think, anyway. Like, this is what I wanted. I wanted Ethan to find his son. I wanted them to be together, the girl and the boy. And I wanted this guy to find out who the origami killer was. But obviously, I had to tell him who it was. But still. Oh man, that guy got mashed up. That was a good death. <laughs> Shit, now we have to figure out if Ethan's gonna get killed. The ending isn't done yet, I just realised. Please don't shoot him. Funny if they just shot him straight in his head. Please don't shoot him. 
Did it work? It worked! Yes! Oh my god, man. That was class, man. This game is amazing. This game's story is amazing. This morning, when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance, Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. It is no doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. The police commissioner it was the girl that did it. Official apology today. Our main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Wow. Let's see what's going on. This is the future, I guess. This is. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. Hey, Dad! I think I found my room! Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. <laughs> and the kid likes the girl as well. Wow. I think that ending was perfect. Literally, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. And it was just pure luck that I made it happen, really. Our guest today is on the cover of Today's World magazine this week and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer and saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. Yes, Norman. No, he didn't even solve it. It was the girl. But at least he got what he wanted. He's he's gonna have a, a sick office now, isn't it? What's this? Oh, it's Jaden. Don't take that. I didn't make that guy take that stuff in the first place. He did it himself. I could have swore. Actually, that time when 50p was attacking us, I did make him take it once. I hope he just throws it down the toilet. Yes. Good. Man, whatever that was, it's like cocaine, man. Cocaine's fucking bad. So it's just showing us like what happens in my ending that I chose or something. Showing us what happens to everybody in the end. This just looks retarded whenever you can't see what he sees. What the hell? Uh, yeah, you need to stop using that. <laughs> yes, that's better luck. Just look at the papers. You don't need to... Okay. Yeah. Not good. <laughs> He's going crazy from using that all the time. Okay, this is weird as fuck. 
What's, I don't know what that means. Does that mean that he's going crazy? Rest in peace, John S. Shepard. Is it going to show us that guy's grave now? Or not? Yeah, there it is. Scott Shelby. That cunt didn't even deserve a fucking uh, burial. Didn't deserve anywhere to be buried, man. Too crazy. On a murderer, like. Don't know why he was buried. <laughs> he was all cut up, wasn't he? he? Got fucking sliced up. Slice, 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 slice. October 2011. Rat, oh, rat, oh, rat. So yeah, that was uh, Heavy Rain. That was a brilliant fucking game. Like, that is one of the all-time, like, great games. Greatest games that they ever made. Like, the story of that, no one would fucking know who the killer was right until the end there. Like, I didn't have a clue. I knew a few different things, but I just didn't expect it to be him. He was the last person I would ever expect it to be. Oh, it must be the uh, concept art. Oh, that's cool. Wow, man, that's so cool. Anyway, I really, really enjoyed playing through this game, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And I just want to say thanks to anybody who's watched the whole um, series and watched me play it. Uh, even if it's just my family or my friends, just thanks a lot. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video I make. Good luck. Thanks a million.